Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I am in Sakonakon, which is in Isan in the northeastern area of Thailand. It's known for, well, agriculture, but also cattle. And Sakonakon is known to have the best quality beef in all of Thailand because there's a specific cattle breed, which is called Kokun Ponyangkam. The beef has an amazing marble to it, and sometimes it's known as the Kobe beef of Thailand. This evening, I'm gonna take you to a restaurant which is serving the beef. We're gonna have Thai-style steakhouse barbecue, and I'm gonna share all of the beef, this entire meal with you in this video. Just arrived to the restaurant right as they're opening in the evening at 5 p.m. The restaurant is called Mong Yot Nua Kokun Ponyangkam. Uh, and that's the, the beef that they serve here that they specialize in. They're known for their beef um, and just for their relaxed atmosphere. And for me, an atmosphere like this, a steakhouse like this could not be better. On the side of the road, open air, under a lean-to, next to an empty field, You've got it all here. Street food, greenery, relaxed ambience, laid back, and I'm extremely excited to order some beef. We're just contemplating our order, the different cuts of beef that they have, uh, which are different from Western cuts. Oh, those photos look amazing. The marbling and the... They're gonna cut, slice it thin because we're gonna order one of the the hot plates over charcoal to grill it ourselves. But she's cool. She's just explaining to us the different parts and where they come from on the on the cow. We got our order in. Lots of things to order. All beef based on the menu and a lot of beef that you grill at your table. But they also have dishes that you can order that they prepare here in the kitchen, including a variety of different labs and also some grilled beef that they grill for you. Uh, so here at this cooking station in the front kitchen here is where he's sizzling up some beef on hot plates. And already I'm getting the first whiffs of that beef, which smells incredible. ไม่เข้าไปยุ่งเท่าไหร่เลยก็กลัวโดนด่าเยอะมันเยอะอยู่ก็เลยไม่ค่อยเข้าเดี๋ยวมันต้องคุยคุยชัดเจนอ่ะ
um, and then that sits over your own personal charcoal on your table. So we also got one other dish, uh, nam tok, which is a common Isan dish, uh, waterfall beef, but made with the, this premium beef. Uh, and yeah, okay, I can't talk anymore. I am excited. We gotta get started. Do you know what piece this was, Ying? I think it's maybe the shoulder. In Thai, it's called the bai pai slice. I love that marble. I love the, the cut of it. Perfect to go on the grill. Oh, look at that piece of beef. Oh, that's a beauty. And it's relatively lean, I believe, as well, this, this cut. I can feel the heat radi I can feel the heat radiating off of this iron griddle. So it's gonna, are you ready for the sizzle? Oh man, oh, I didn't. Oh, are you supposed to butter the pan? Anyways, I think it will be okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's beautiful. Immediately, immediately kind of sticks to the pan a little bit. Oh man, that immediately smells delicious. Uh oh yeah, what are we supposed to? I think I might've made a mistake on my first slice of beef. I think you were supposed to butter the pan so it doesn't stick because this is a leaner, leaner cut. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sacrifice it. Oh yeah, okay, they do have butter. I think I made a, a crucial mistake. Oh, maybe not the whole blob, no? no. All right, that should be good for now. Yeah, I made a mistake on this first piece, piece, but I think it's pretty much cooked right now. Okay, I think this is ready. All right, that was not the greatest start to this meal because I made a mistake, but that's okay. Actually, that bottom part that's kind of sizzled is gonna be great. Oh, wow. That flavor. It's amazing. Oh, it truly is delicious. It's beefy. You taste the grass-fed quality of it. Mm. And that texture, like it's, it's soft and tender, but kind of slightly bouncy at the same time, I think because that marbling fat that just goes all the way through it. It gives it this amazing, even flavor and texture and smokiness. There's two different sauces. This one looks like more of a sweet sesame sauce. This one looks like more of a chili chili dip kind of sauce. I'll go with that. I'll go with this one. A chili paste. Well, that sauce is amazing. It's almost tomato-y. I don't know if it's just chili or if it's tomato, but it's, it has this tartness to it. An acidity almost has a flavor of sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, that's delicious too, the sauce. It just dawned on me. I think I made a horrible rookie mistake. I should have taken the fat piece of beef uh, with the higher fat content, put that on the grill first so that keeps the oil, that keeps the, the juices and the oils flowing so nothing sticks. But you can see how much more fatty this one is. Both the marbling in the meat and then the, the fat throughout the meat as well. Oh yeah, I'm sure this is gonna... Maybe I'll put two pieces on. Oh, that one fell apart. That's okay. Yeah, immediately you can see how much more fatty this beef is. Uh, it's still my mistake that I let the beef stick a little bit, but I think it's ready. Uh, but it's still gonna be incredible and you can see how much more this one is more juicy and more fatty for sure. Oh yeah, that's just dripping with oily juices. Next cut of beef. I'll try dipping this one into the other sauce. Oh wow. Again, the flavor coming out of that beef the that one is oily and juicy and that sauce is more of a a little bit of a sweet kind of sesame oil flavor to it sauce but yeah you taste the fattiness of that one yeah, i'm impressed with the the flavor of that beef the the flavor is it really is truly superb um it's beefy but it's not overly strong it's very natural tasting very healthy tasting and just like I mean that's the way you want a good quality piece of steak or beef to taste 
It's really good beef, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just pull it. Next up, we're going to try the third piece of beef. And this one is cut up into bite-sized pieces and marinated in what looks kind of like a oyster sauce, maybe kind of mixture, I'm not totally sure. It's going to sizzle not only in its own fat and juices, but also in that marinade, that dressing that it has on. And as the next round of beef is grilling, I just wanted to tell you and also read to you a little bit about uh, Ponyangkam beef thanks to an article in the Bangkok Post but it says that um, so it's a cooperative with assistance from the French government uh, back I think in 1980 uh, Ponyangkam is actually a village in Sakonakon where they started this breed where they bred this cattle and they took two French cows Cholet and Limousine I'm not totally sure how to pronounce that in French, um, which they interbred with local Sakonakon cattle. And so that was developed. And so now it's been 40 years of Ponyangkam. The cattle are fed chemical-free, natural. Um, they grow their, the communities, they grow their own grass to feed the cattle, so they're grass-fed. No chemicals, no growth hormones, no antibiotics. I believe that it's mainly family businesses that raise the cattle. And so that really stands out. That is really why the quality is so high and why it maintains so high. That being said though, uh, there was a study that there is a lot more of the beef being consumed, I mean, by the books, than there is production. So there is some fake Ponyangkam beef going around probably at places in Bangkok. Uh, so it is important to check your source, know your source, and know where you're getting your beef, especially if you want to try the real authentic Ponyangkam. And this is, this is a place in Sakonakon where you can come and where you can be assured that you're getting the real deal. Yeah, seeing this one looks really good yeah. because it's so juicy. And I think the, the meat, I think it kind of tones down the fire a little bit too because of the juiciness because of that sauce. So it's not cooking them so fast because I want to get some pieces probably right now while they're medium rare. Oh, this one smells great. I can't wait to try this one. Oh, you can just feel the squishiness in your chopsticks. Oh, wow. Okay. That is the cut. That is almost like a ribeye in texture. So ultra juicy. The fat just squeezes out. And that marinade, oh, that marinade is incredible. It tastes to me like a little bit of an oyster sauce kind of flavor. But I think it just seals in the juices of that beef and the blood. And it gives the beef um, a saltiness, but not overdone and not sweet either. Oh, that is a superb bite of beef. Oh, that's so good. That beef with the marinade is so good. You do not even need the dipping sauces, but since their sauces are so good too, you might as well. Go bowl. Wow. Okay, that one is my favorite. Just the juicy tenderness of that is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this time the grill is already oiled and juiced, so it shouldn't stick this time. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Now you can see it's just hovering on that iron griddle, and also the grill is not quite as hot anymore. It's been fully greased, uh, so that's gonna be, yeah. I, I definitely made a mistake on my first bite, first piece of beef. That was embarrassing, but hopefully uh, things are okay now. Yeah, things are definitely okay now. Bam. Look at that for a slice of steak. It almost looks like a tongue. What a beautiful, lean piece of beef. Oh yeah, okay. That makes a world of difference when it grills properly and not so much on the hot burning griddle. What I like about this lean piece is that 
Yeah, it's not as fatty, it's not as soft, it's not as tender, but you really taste the flavor, the more pungent, powerful flavor of that natural beef. That's what stands out about this cut. Every, every cut has a totally different flavor. And to be honest, both sauces are also equally delicious. I can't even decide which one I like better, but probably this one, uh, because this one is a little more spicy. But they've done a great job on both sauces. Mm. Oh, wow. That is just an extraordinary combination. And so we also got the nam tok, which is a salad. And sorry, it's been sitting on the table for a little while, so it's kind of gotten a little dehydrated. I think we gotta rehydrate it a bit in its juices. I got kind of carried away with the grilled beef and almost forgot about the nam tok. Oh, wow. Well, oh, the nam tok is amazing. That immediate combination of chili, fish sauce, and lime juice. Then the garlickiness, the chilies in there, the smoky dried chilies, the fresh chilies, the shallots, the sawtooth coriander, the cilantro, and the green onions. And then I'm gonna chase that with the, the raw chili and garlic, raw garlic combination. Oh, wow. It's so good. Oh, that's a burst. That's a, an explosion of chili fumes in your mouth and raw garlic. Oh yeah, you'll feel that. And that nam tok, that is just next level, the next step. And then there's a basket of vegetables, mostly cabbage and some basil, I think, on that plate. Uh, that when you are in the middle of your beef feast, meat feast, you can kind of change up the flavor with some cabbage with some vegetables. Caramelized cabbage and beef fat. <laughs> when I was just uh, up there watching him cook just for a little while. You can tell that it, the beef is just his passion. He's just laser focused on the beef. And that's exactly what looks like it drives him. And now you can totally tell his passion, his love is for that beef and just his ultimate care and precision when it comes to sourcing the quality beef uh, that you're gonna have here, that you're gonna eat here. Another thing that really strikes me about the Kokun Ponyang Kam Thai beef is that Unlike some varieties of Kobe or Wagyu beef that are just so soft and buttery that like there's zero chewing involved, this, it's not quite as tender, it's not as buttery, but it, it still has some texture to it. You gotta chew it. You really taste the flavor of the beef and you feel the flavor, you feel the texture of the beef at the same time. And yet at the same time, it's not chewy, it's not tough. For me, it's a fantastic balance of Tenderness, juiciness, flavor. And again, you I mean you do get different textures, different flavors from different cuts of beef. But just in speaking in general, uh, my first impressions of this beef. Wow. But now with the low fire, it almost tastes like braised beef in that juice and that sauce. Mm. So soft and tender and flavorful. Yes. The combination of this marinated beef and this sauce. Oh man, you're gonna love it. Love these tongue-sized slices. Cool. Okay, this one is a nice medium rare because the fire is so low now. Oh man, I'm impressed with that lean piece too. You really taste the quality and the flavor of the beef that stands out. As I'm eating this more, I might even like this more than the marinated one because you taste more of the pure flavor of the beef. This is 
my final piece of beef. I'm going in with this sauce. Kind of roll, roll it up, scoop up that sauce. This is more like a chili paste sauce. I love this sauce. I mean, I liked it from the beginning, but I love it even more now. It's kind of like a chili paste sauce. Give it a nice coating. Oh wow. This has just been uh, an ultimate beef experience in Thailand. One of the best beef experiences you can have in Thailand. That was an outstanding meal. But this restaurant, so cool. Again, uh, you know that you're getting the real deal here, authentic Ponyang Kam beef. And one more thing I have to immediately mention is that our total bill, total price came to 950 baht. And that includes, we had three plates of steak beef and then the nam tok, the mixed beef salad. But that was a lot of beef. Uh, and the quality, I, I don't know if I can think of any for that price, for the value, for the quality. Ultimate value and quality for your money. That's another aspect that you have to take into account when you consider the Ponyang Kam beef is just how affordable it is and how quality it is. I think what I love so much about this restaurant is it's just laid back, it's so chill, it's so relaxing, it's unpretentious, and just focused on the quality of the beef. And just a laid back setting where you can come with friends, where you can hang out, where you can relax, where you can slowly grill, where you can take bites of some of the tastiest meat without a doubt, some of the tastiest beef that you'll ever try in Thailand. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon. And that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Sakana Khan in Isan, Thailand. And I will see you on the next video.